What's up everybody, Alexander here, and I'm so, so excited for today's video. You guys just don't even know because look what we got. That's right, it is finally time for us to unbox again, Fashion Still The Box. Can't even tell you guys how excited I am to finally be able to get into that as I'm sure many of you all feel the same way. But before we do that, I did very quickly want to go into a few things because I've had a lot of questions, a lot of comments. I've seen some misinformation being put out there and I just wanted to clear the air, get everybody on the same page because the owner of Fashion Stuff did post something on his Facebook uh, group page, kind of letting everybody know where they are at, where they're going to be moving forward and so on. So if that sounds good to you guys, then let's get into it. So real fast, before we get started with today's video, I know some of you all are just here for the unboxing itself, so I will put a timestamp right here in the corner of the screen, so that way, for those of you guys that are just here to watch that, you can do so, and that way you can fast forward to just the unboxing part. As for everyone else, I know you all have had a ton of questions about what is going on with the box, why some people are receiving their June box when you still haven't received your March box, why you didn't get charged for April, May, Etc. So I did again just want to get all the information out and everybody kind of on the same page straight from Shadi himself because he did post something on their Facebook page. All right. So as we all know, Miss Rona has definitely put a kink in our 2020 among other things. And uh, with that, the box, aka Fashion Sa, is located in California. So they were required and it was mandated that they had to shut down because they are not an essential business, just like ColourPop and quite a few other businesses out there. Now, as soon as they were allowed to return, they did, and they immediately started shipping out boxes, which is this box right here. So this is March's box. Nobody got charged for April. Nobody got charged for May and nobody is going to get charged for June. So technically speaking, there is no April box, there's no May box, and there will be no June box. And the reason being, and I'm gonna put this up here, right here, this is from Shadi himself on their fashion uh, group page on Facebook. He said that um, they wanna spend June contacting as many brands as possible. They don't wanna rush it and send a below average box. They can, but it's not fair to people who have been waiting. So they just wanted to get this March box out since it was already curated, it was already ready to go. They just needed to start distributing it and they were shut down in the process of doing though that. So that's what this is. This is the March box technically, even though it's June. All right, the second announcement they also put on there, and I feel like this is really important. I said being a small business is hard, which we all know. And I do also want to give mass shout out and kudos to Shadi. I did actually speak with him several times throughout the lockdown and his main concern was continually paying his employees, even though he does only have, I think there's like four or five of them total. Um, that was his biggest concern and I have to give just mass, mass respect there. All right, so um, basically they've been trying to contact as many brands as possible. I've actually sent them quite a few myself. I hope they can get a hold of one of them, both of them, if not both of them. Um, but anyways, they said that three of them, after finalizing the deal, had told him if they had not, if if Fashion Sa had not contacted those companies, that they were gonna go out of business because of everything going on. So Fashion Sa is kind of saving businesses right now, you guys. I mean, that's what these sub boxes are doing. So because they put these orders in and finalized these deals and said, yes, for sure, we're doing this order, they are saving businesses in the process. So he wanted to know, you know, do you guys know any amazing indie brands or is there a brand that you just you know have to see in the box if so definitely comment on this post i will put a link to the post down below and he did make a comment on here and said no color pop is not an indie brand or a small company which is true they're not they're a multi-billion dollar brand and i also would like to say as much as i love color pop they are not willing to work with subscription boxes. They worked with BoxyCharm once, got big, and uh, they've refused to work with any box since. If you see them in a box, it's because that box paid outright for them. Like they didn't, you know, agree to work with that box by any means because ColourPop, 
I, I've spoken with them. They won't, they will not work with boxes. It's ridiculous. All right. So again, if you have any brands, definitely, uh, hit them up. They have Instagram. I will put all of their social media, uh, pages down below and let's get on into the box by fashion stuff, AKA the March box. <laughs> so again, this is not May. This is not April. This is not June. This is the March box. And we will not see a box again until July, which kind of stinks, but I'm just excited and happy to finally have a box because this is as you guys know that have been here my favorite box so of course there is a card inside that tells us what is in the box and what the prices are and the first thing i am seeing which kind of has me excited is by jet um or double dare the company's name is double dare aka jet but you know it's always double dare i don't know if you guys know that but um but it's a two-in-one soothing mask so there's a step one which is a soothing microfiber towelette and then step two, which is a super hydrating, soothing mask with cactus fruit, rose hip, and hyaluronic acid. So this definitely has me excited. I love these two-step masks. I don't know why I do. I just do. I have like a couple of them down there and they're like always the ones I pull out first. You know what I mean? So anyways, excited about that. This also has me excited because I'm almost out of this. So this is by Herbal Dynamics Beauty and it is the Clean and Calm Cucumber and Blue Lotus Micellar Water. And I'm almost out of my micellar water and I hate it. Quite honestly, I absolutely hate it. It's the one by Garnier Fructis or whatever. And uh, I can't stand it. I really can't. I'm just using it up because I bought it. I paid for it. So I'm going to use it, finish it, and then I'm never going to buy it again because I absolutely hate it. Okay, now that we finally got it open, let's see what we got going on here. Okay, so honestly, it doesn't, it doesn't really have much of a smell to it. It says it's cucumber and blue lotus micellar water, but I mean, like I can smell like a hint of a smell, but it's not really, I, I'm like reaching out for you guys to smell it. Like here, smell this. What do you smell like? <laughs> Don't pay any attention to me right now. I've lost my damn mind. All right, oh, that just like came shooting out of the box there. What do we got here? So this is by Shivani, Shivani Beauty, and it's the Marble Elixir Maracuja Infused Primer Oil. So this is very interesting. So that is what the packaging looks like, which is super luxurious looking, like if I do say so myself. I mean, seriously. So let's see, what does this say? Okay, so this says this is a multi-purpose hybrid formula that is both a primer and beauty oil. Now, for those of you, us, myself, and you all out there who have dry skin, priming oils are so amazing, especially in the winter time. I can't even stress to you guys how nice this is to have. Whenever I have a foundation, if you have a really, really matte foundation and it's too drying in your skin, it just cakes up and stuff, put a priming oil on underneath. So this, I can't even tell you how excited I am to actually have this because I'm almost done with my priming oil. So I was gonna have to buy another one. Normally I use the one by, what is this? Physician's Formula. It's the Organic Wear Bright Booster Oil Elixir. And I absolutely love this. For those of you guys that have been here a while, you know, I swear by that, but I'm almost out of it. So I'm definitely really curious to try this out. So this will be next on my list. Nice product to have. Next here we have is the Bye Bye Germs, oh my God, hand sanitizer gel. And this is also by Double Dare. So Double Dare, again, is the same company who makes these jet masks and the other amazing jet products that we've gotten. So let's see, does this have a smell to it? Woo! Oh gosh, I'm drunk. <laughs> oh my gosh, yes. It smells like hand sanitizer, like straight alcohol, which... I mean, I'm not mad at right now, like at all. I don't think anybody would be mad at that right now. <laughs> all right, so the next product we have here is by, who is this? Emily Alexandra, and this is a lipstick. It retails for $18. It's vegan, cruelty-free, free ocean, friendly, water-resistant, and it also has sunscreen ingredients, which is very interesting. I like the packaging real fast. I just wanna show you guys that packaging. It is absolutely gorgeous. So love that, but... Can we talk about what the actual lipstick looks like? Hold on a second. So you guys see how it kind of has like a hook there? Isn't that crazy? I guess that's so you can like fit it around your lip. Like that right there. I wonder what this color is going to look like. Okay, so hang on. I have a color on right now. Let me, let me just, yeah, let me just wipe what I got off on. 
or what I got on off. Again, don't pay any attention to me right now because I'm not all here. It's been a long day. It's been a long day. All right, so let's see what we got here. Oh, yeah, so that little hook thing there is so, it just like, I don't know if you guys can see, it just like kind of hooks right around around your lip. Like it literally hugs your lip. Only thing is, how does this work on the top? Oh, no. It does the same thing. It just kind of, huh. That's a very interesting design. I don't know if I like it. But I don't know if I hate it. Like, it's different. I mean, like, what if everybody doesn't have the same size lips as I do? You know what I mean? Like, I mean, it's very unique. Let me say that. And I do like that it hugs. I mean, it literally hugs your lips. But is it going to keep that? I don't know. Like, it's just crazy. But I do love the designs on it. Like, look at that. It literally looks like a mermaid scales. Can you guys see that? It's amazing. So, I can't stop using it. All right, Alex. Put it away. Put it away. Yeah, but the color is pretty. Like, it's kind of got, it's like a brown nude with like an orange undertone. It doesn't actually go with this eye look right now. But I do really like the color, which is crazy because I'm not, I love oranges and I love browns. But I don't like browns with orange undertones. But I like this. It's a little weird. It's a little weird, but I like this. I really do. I like the color. So, all right. The last thing we have here is the Glam Light Alejandro Desi palette, which looks like this. This is what the outside packaging looks like. And let me see here. I actually, voila, have this palette. So we are going to put this one in a giveaway for one of you guys. I actually have quite a few other things that I've been saving up. So maybe we'll do that. In this video what do you guys think yeah why not let's do a giveaway at the end of this video if you made it through this this part of the video if you made it this far you deserve a giveaway so let's do a giveaway we'll do it in just a second but first let's talk about this palette as you guys can see I have definitely loved on it this is a gorgeous palette I love glam light shadows just in general I've told you guys this a hundred times every time I see them in a box I'm, I get excited so real fast though, the colors that you really need to know about though are this superstar right here. Oh my God, I love this. This superstar is like a shimmer and this pop-in right here is like a metallic. So they're very different like consistencies, but both absolutely gorgeous. You guys see that right there. So those are two colors that I would definitely dig into first when you start digging into this palette. Also this color lit right here, perfect inner corner shade, perfect highlight shade. Um, I mean, it's got like a kind of gold on, it's like a white with like a gold undertone and like a green reflect to it, as you guys can see right there. Very, very pretty. Um, this glam color right here, if you want a perfect gold, that is where it's going to be at. This Haracha, her, 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 I, I think it's called Haracha. I'm going to put the word right here for you guys. But this is a really, really pretty transition color. I mean, it's just the perfect transition color. It's almost my skin tone. All right. And then Boss Babe. I love this color too. And these shades are just so soft and so pigmented. And this palette is just, I mean, absolutely gorgeous. If you just need a great, I mean, you could do everyday looks with this palette. You could do really amped up smoky eyes with this palette. I mean, honestly, you could really do a lot because you got some dark browns, you got some dark reds, you got some pinks. You also got some lights here. You got plenty of shimmer shades. You could really do a lot with this palette. So this will be a good thing for all of you guys receiving your The Box this month. And if anybody has anything bad to say about this palette, you crazy. I'm sorry, but you crazy. Because this is an amazing palette. I don't care who you are. It's amazing. All right. Let's, uh, I guess, move on to a recap and then this giveaway. Okay, so let's do a quick recap and some final thoughts. And then we will get on with this giveaway. Now, as far as I'm concerned, I think this is an amazing box, especially considering that we had to wait due to Miss Rona <laughs> as long as we did. I am completely happy with this box. I think it's amazing. I love anything from Jet. I just have to say, I love anything from this company. Everything I've received from this company, Double Dare, Jet, whatever you want to call them, I have absolutely enjoyed. So love the mask. The lipstick, here's what's crazy. I really didn't know what to think about it at first, but now that I've had on my lips for a minute, because I still have it 
on my lips, I'm sure as you guys can tell, um, it's very smooth. It's very creamy. It's not like super sticky. It's not like coming off. I actually kind of got up, did a couple things, then came back because I had to get all the, you know, giveaway stuff together. So I've been kind of up, moving around, taking drinks, things like that. And it's still really on my lips very, very well. So I will say I actually really like this formula and I wasn't sure about the shape, but it's crazy. I just want to keep doing this. Like I could sit here and probably go through this whole stick in, in one hour because I just want to keep doing that. So I actually really like this. I wasn't sure at first, but I actually really, really like that. So, um, then as far as the hand sanitizer, I mean, we can never have too much hand sanitizer right now. So I think this was so super nice for them to do. It was kind of like a sixth extra item. Like they wanted to make sure that everybody had hand sanitizer and they were shut down and stopped from shipping stuff out. So, you know, they still made sure everybody got one. I think that is so amazing. Shadi, you do such a good job with that. So this one, I'm actually gonna put in the giveaway uh, for one of you guys because I have plenty of hand sanitizer. We are good here, but I wanna make sure one of you guys are taken care of. I am so super Super excited about this you guys is all you know especially because it doesn't have like a crazy smell a nasty smell anything like that it's just you know yeah nothing I got nothing I got nothing but it, that's fine that's totally fine so I'm super excited to try this out I will let you guys know and upcoming favorites and fails for subscription boxes and then this Shivani Beauty same thing I'm super excited about this I really am when you have dry skin and like for me personally if you want to try matte foundations like I told you guys you have got to have a good priming oil so really excited to give this a go all in all so happy and then of course we have the glam light palette as I said if you don't like this palette you crazy all right so uh yeah no complaints this box is amazing well worth the wait now let's get in to the giveaway portion so of course we're going to be doing the Alondra Desi palette by Glam Light as well as the Bye Bye Germs by Double Dare. Then I'm also going to be doing the Steve Laurent palette. So if you want more of like a cool tone, neutral look, this is your guy right here. So this is the Wild Thing palette as well as the Wander Beauty Wondrous Dust to Dawn blush and highlighter palette. I'm also going to be doing the Hank and Henry beauty sponges. So there's a duo sponge pack in here. And then I'm going to be throwing in one of my babies. So this is one of my favorite products that I received in the box ever to this day. This is the Lucci Metal Lit 4-in-1 Radiant Face Gel. It's a mask. It's a highlighter. It's a moisturizer. It's a treatment. It's everything in one and it is so amazing so there's three different ones there's a bronze one a gold one and a silver one my favorites are the gold and the silver so this is the silver one you're gonna love me for this whoever gets this all right and then i'm also gonna be throwing in the laura geller glam lash volumizing mascara i'm also gonna be throwing in a stila uh all day stay all day liquid lipstick and this color hold on i just gotta shade this color because it is so pretty without tearing up the box, Alex. So it is the perfect nudie pink. Ugh, just goes with so many different skin tones, colors. I love using a color like this to brighten up the center of the lips. It's just ugh, gorgeous. All right, so we're gonna have that. And then I'm also gonna be throwing in the Primera Alpine Berry Water Cream, as well as the Dr. Jart Sisipair Tiger Grass Color Correcting Treatment. I also have a couple of other things. So let's talk about what you have to do to win this little giveaway here. So of course you have to be subscribed and you have to like this video. And then also I want you to comment down below what up and coming makeup company or brand or even indie makeup company or brand, would you really like to see show up in Fashion Says The Box? Me personally, I would really love to see OMFG and I would also really love to see Iconic Beauty's uh, Blur Stick because that thing is just amazing everybody deserves to try that thing and it's just so hard to get a hold of so i really hope iconic beauty uh gets back to uh shoddy from fashion says the box because everybody deserves to know that amazing product for sure so let me know what product or what brand or company you would love to see it show up in the box and we'll run the giveaway let's see today is monday so we'll run it from today all the way let's do two weeks so until the 22nd so it'll end uh 11 59 Eastern Standard Time, PM, uh, the 22nd of June, and then we'll do the drawing on the 23rd. So again, 
be subscribed, like this video, comment down below what favorite uh, company or indie brand or product from a company or indie brand that you would really love to see show up in Fashion Says The Box. That is all I have for you guys today, but stay tuned because on Wednesday, I will have our favorites and fails video and you guys are not gonna wanna miss this. So we've got two different favorites and fails videos for the month of May. And um, yeah, one's just subscription box products, one's brand new products like some NARS stuff. We got the Hooded Beauty mascara, which was a whole thing. It was a whole thing, you guys. So anyways, I love you all so, so very much. If you haven't subscribed yet, make sure you do hit that like button because it really, really helps me out. And until next time, see ya.